Hey guys, my name is Michael and I'm the co-founder of Bootcamp app. Um, our goal is to make the best lifting app ever made. And our mission is to make science-based fitness more mainstream. Um, you know, as part of that, I'm very excited to relaunch the Bootcamp podcast. Uh, our last guest was uh, Greg Knuckles. And I still got to think of a sexier name, I think, for the podcast. Um, so Eric, if you have any suggestions, uh, do let me know. Maybe, maybe, maybe the, the, the boost your biceps, big time boost <laughs> camp, uh, podcast that I, I like the letter B and I like biceps. So I think, I think there's something there we can workshop it. Okay. You know? um, that's, yeah. that's a, that's a great mm. answer. Yeah. I'm not that creative. So I was thinking like, maybe like stronger with science, you know, something like that could be pretty unique, but, uh, yeah, I, I would suspect that. you'd. You quickly get sued by Greg Knuckles with that one. So uh, that's, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll keep working it and we'll talk to the lawyers in Delaware. We'll see what's up. Um, now anyhow, it's an honor to be on, man. Glad we're relaunching the podcast and I'm glad to be on. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm super honored to, to, have, uh, to have you on, Eric. Um, you know, within the evidence-based fitness community, you're a common household name. But maybe mm -hmm. you can just give a quick introduction to those that might not know you. Um, who are beginners in the fitness realm. Absolutely. No, it's a, it's a privilege and an honor to hear you say that. Um, I am basically just a dude who got bit by the iron bug uh, way back in 2004, and it turned into a new career path for me, a new educational path for me, uh, and then it was my pathway into becoming a uh, an entrepreneur and a business owner. So, um, yeah, lifting has given me so much in terms of my own personal growth and then my own, you know, financial security and, and that of my, my colleagues and friends, um, that, uh, a big part of what I do is try to give back. So, uh, I started competing in 2006 in powerlifting and then natural bodybuilding in 07. I've been competing ever since I transitioned from being a personal trainer to a, uh, an online coach, primarily specializing in working with strength and physique athletes in 09. Uh, end of 09, early 2010, when we started 3D Muscle Journey. That's myself, Alberto Nunez, Jeff Alberts, and Brad Loomis. Now the team has expanded pretty substantially. We have Andrea Valdez, and uh, and we got, uh, as well as our three specialists, um, who are, we have a registered dietitian, we have uh, a licensed clinical counselor, we have a uh, doctor of physical therapy, um, we've also got Brandon, who is doing our multimedia work, um, and more. And really what we've turned 3D Muscle Journey into is a place that supports the, uh, the drug-free lifting community. And that was kind of my, it still is the foundation of what I do and everything else kind of comes off of that, uh, that, that goal. It's all about trying to create sustainability. Um, and I think when people hear sustainability, they think like not using plastic cups, but I see it as in such an extreme sport, uh, like mm. especially bodybuilding, but also powerlifting and strength sport as well. A lot of people find themselves burning out or having to leave the pursuit of lifting, not on their own terms. Um, they might struggle with, you know, eating issues, body image issues, injuries, um, or just finding themselves losing their passion, which I think is another form of burnout. Uh, so what I do is I try to help people do it on their own terms, you know, kind of looking at each person as, look, you've got this intense passion to work incredibly hard. You want to push yourself to your limit, but we also have to think of like Icarus, like we, we can't get too close to the sun too often, or we lose the wings entirely and they burn off and you fall to the earth. So what that looks like in terms of what I do these days, um, having pursued my academic career, uh, and starting with 3d muscle journey, branching out is that I'm a science communicator. I have podcasts. I appear on other people's podcasts. It's always a pleasure to do that. I uh, review research in mass, monthly applications in strength sports with uh, Greg Knuckles, as well as Mike Sordos and Eric Trexler. We try to put out information that helps uh, people better understand how to integrate evidence-based practice. I'm a research fellow here in New Zealand, where I moved 10 years ago uh, at the Auckland University of Technology at the Sports Performance Research Institute in New Zealand. Uh, and my research is all based around that whole concept of enhancing performance long term, i.e. sustainability through strength and physique sport. So I work with masters and PhD students who've come to New Zealand to do that work with me uh, and also my colleagues here. Um, and I've also written books, which have uh, 
people might have heard, they have some uh, sample programs which are getting onboarded onto uh, Boost Camp, which is pretty cool. So yes. I got my fingers in a lot of pies, but they're they're all pies that ultimately serve that 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 central mission. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's absolutely amazing. And I mean, when you mentioned that you know you're serving towards you know uh, bodybuilding athletes, uh, powerlifting competitors, I think even for the average enthusiast like myself. I've been following through the MJ for the better part of a decade where, mm. you know, the information it just continue to resonate. And to be honest, like doesn't, hasn't like really changed that much. And I think it is because you guys are so focused on the fundamentals where, mm. you know, it's not, uh, it's not about the fluff or like the latest gimmick. It's like, how do we, how do you create, as you mentioned, sustainable impact in people's uh, fitness journeys? Uh, it's really good to hear hear you say that, and probably more than half of our audience are non-competitors. Even though, as a, as a coaching business, that's probably half, if not more, of our athletes who we work with. But there are so many people who look up to um, kind of the the big names and bodies and faces and, and and lifts that we see on social media or in the sport, who are fans of the sport, and then they themselves are inspired to lift weights, uh, powerlifting, weightlifting, CrossFit. Uh, strong man, strong woman, what have you, um, competitive, non-competitive. Ultimately, I think there's a lot of a shared experience for anyone who lifts weights and, and, and does it hard, you know? And uh, so it's always cool to hear feedback from people who, who find that our content resonates and, and helps them find a better relationship with the sport uh, whether, or whether they compete or not. So that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, when we started Boost Camp, we were looking for, uh, you know, people who, you know, align with, with the mission of evidence-based fitness. And obviously, you know, uh, 3D Muscle Journey and yourself, you know, has been, you know, a cornerstone within this space. I almost find that, uh, you know, for a beginner coming to fitness, it's very easy to be lured by, mm. you know, the gimmicks, um, perhaps the, the bodybuilding magazines, the stuff you find on YouTube, um, or nowadays, the stuff that you find on TikTok and short form content. Um, but after you sort of try a bunch of stuff, you fail on your own a bunch of times, you start finding people that are, um, are actually evidence-based and um, you know, speaking from true experience and also from research. Um, and uh, you know, to be able to have you on the podcast today to talk through some of these, um, it's, uh, I think will be incredibly valuable for users of Boost Camp and anybody watching this video. Ah, honored to do so. I'm happy to help. <laughs>